All right, welcome back to this video. And today we're gonna do totones with chicken. You wanna buy some chicken breads? Chicken bread, um, the green plantains, fried green plantains, it's the tonics. So it's already it's already uh, in a bag. So what you do with the totones, if you don't buy the bags, you can also buy the um, the plantains, but they gotta be green and it's a process. I will show you in the next video, maybe not the next one, but I will show you in another video that I'm gonna do how to do the totones with a green plantain and fry them. But this is the easiest way if you want to do a shortcut. So, basically, we're gonna season these, we're gonna cut them in little pieces, and the totones with chicken is gonna be like, a, you know nachos with cheese? Something like it, but it's not natural cheese. It's something extremely, extremely delicious. And you can also do it with, um, steak, churrasco, you could do it with chicken, turkey, you could do it with any meat you like, sausages, pork, anything you want. This time I'm gonna do it with chicken, chicken tights. So stay tuned, because it's gonna be good. Because I'm gonna cut them in little pieces. I'm gonna cut it like this. That. So basically, just cut it little chunks like this. Put it there. All right. So I'm gonna put some. Sofrito here in the pan. So sofrito there. Olive oil. There you go. I'm gonna season this uh, chicken with a little bit of adobo. Adobo, adobo, adobo. All right, and sazón, sazón Goya. Si es Goya, tiene que ser bueno. It's gotta be good if it's Goya. Curry powder. Black pepper. Again, I didn't put no salt because I, I have the adobo and I have the sazon. So I'm gonna leave it like that and if it needs more, more sazon or salt, I'm gonna put adobo. Because adobo makes a good seasoning. So I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna give it a nice, nice shake in here. I'm gonna stir it really nice. So we're doing totone with chicken today. And actually I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna mix everything that I put in there. Just like that. I don't know if you can see it from here. But nice and chunks. All seasoned. Now I'm gonna put this. Do it again because I put my finger in the way. It's okay, you can put your finger in the way. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Show me, I'll, I'll show take me it again. out. It's okay. Alright, so we're gonna put it here. I'm gonna put the meat there. Can you see this? Looks good. I'm put all that meat there. We're going to stir this meat just like that. Okay, so ahora vamos a coger cilantro. Oh, it's not Spanish. I'm sorry, guys. It's in English. 
All right, so now we're going to add some mushrooms. I'm going to add some mushrooms, and I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro, which I'm going to use the pico de gallo. I'm going to do the pico de gallo with the cilantro, so I'm going to add a little bit. We're gonna add some olive oil. We're gonna add some oregano. Black pepper. Garlic. And a little bit of more adobo to season that. Mushrooms. We're gonna stir this up. Cover it. And the pico de gallo. Cilantro. Tomatoes, we're gonna start cutting these out. And we're gonna put some onions in there too. And some fresh garlic. Start working on the cilantro to make the pico de gallo. So just chop some, some cilantro. We're gonna cut the tomato. We're gonna chop, chop, chop. We're gonna chop, chop, chop some tomatoes. That's what we're doing. Chop, chop tomatoes. One. Right, onions. There you go. So, basically I'm gonna add in here some black pepper. Some salt. Some olive oil. And some lemon. And I got lemon juice that I'm gonna put in there. All right, so this is how it's supposed to look. You got everything in there. So now you're gonna Mix everything. Mix everything. And it smells delicious. Smell that cilantro, lemon juice. And we just did the pico de gallo. And also, you go eat this with chips. You go eat this with taco. You know, you could do, you know, anything you, with well, the pico gallo, this pico gallo is really good. Once you try it, you're gonna love it, okay? So, all right, so now, look at this, look at this. How beautiful is that? All right, so now, this is the stuff that we're gonna put in the top of the chicken. This is not even done. You guys gonna see what it's gonna look like. Well, this is the pico gallo, all right? We got the chicken here, which we're gonna go and check now, okay? Chicken is almost done. We're gonna lower the volume. All right, we're about to um, fry this totones. Preheat the oven at 350. Right now, as you be doing this, um, doing the totones, now is a good chance, if you got your last batch of totones, to start preheating your um, oven. All right, so uh, <clears throat> I got the oven preheat already at 350. So now we're gonna um, do the totones with chicken. How I'm gonna show you how to do it. So basically, you're gonna start putting your totones. Let me take this out of the way. 
but you can see better. And you're gonna lay them one by one, just like that. That the edge will touch each other, just like that. This, this one. Mm. All right. So. This is really good. The tunas are good. I like the tunas. Now the chicken. So the chicken, you're gonna spread the chicken around the tortones. All right, so now we got, I think this is good enough. You see this? That's gonna be for egg almond that I'm gonna do tomorrow for breakfast. All this left over. All right, so now that we have the totones for chicken there, we're gonna add the cheese. We're gonna spread cheese around, cheese around, cheese of joy, just like this, just like that. It's like a big totones pizza. So now, you're gonna put this baby in the oven. And it's not gonna feel long. It's gonna be, when this cheese melt, that's when it's time to take it out. And then when chicken is done. Okay, the totones with chicken is done, and this is how it looks. So what we're gonna do is now that we have, and it's done already, we're gonna add the pico de gallo right in the top, just like that. Just like this. All right, so this is what it looks like. Beautiful. This is what you call totone with chicken. Really beautiful, look at that. And you could put mayo ketchup, you could put sour cream, whatever you like. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like doing food like this, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Please share and like this video, and give me some comments on if you did this, because I want to know, I want to know how it came out. Remember, you could do this with steak, churrasco, you could do it with pork, you could do it with anything you want, even ground, ground beef. So, like and share, thumbs up, and I'll see you next time on My Food, My Food, My Life of Food. Thank you again. Enjoy.